Hi, I'm Dave Purvis. I've been in psychology for 30 years and I love being a psychologist. In fact, I'm even more interested and engaged now than I was when I first started. But what got me into psychology in the first place was an interest in consciousness and the way the brain creates the experience of consciousness for us. So after I finished my undergraduate degree, I went to Oxford and I spent three years uh, learning biological psychology and neuroscience and brain surgery. The brain surgery was on rats because of course it's hard to do brain surgery on humans and so I was studying the biological processes that lead to the allocation of attention because of course attention is a very important consciousness process. However, although rat brains have a lot of similarity to human brains, you know, one difference being they're a lot smaller, I don't think that rats have quite the same experience of consciousness as humans do. At least they haven't told me that they have. So in the end, I wasn't able to ask or answer the kinds of questions I was interested in. And so I changed my discipline to one of psychological therapy in trying to understand how psychological problems are created and then understanding how to resolve them and even developing novel and new ways of resolving things like depression and anxiety. I moved into lecturing and teaching a discipline called counselling psychology and then I started to recognise that the history of, uh, history of psychiatry is one of disempowerment and in fact the history of most medicine is one of disempowerment. People are disempowered to help themselves. In fact, people wouldn't even recognise that they could help themselves to the degree that they're able to do so. So I started to develop computer-based ways of helping people to help themselves. This uh, coincided with the advent of the internet and computer revolution, if you like. And so I was able to develop some programs that allow people to cure themselves of depression and anxiety without ever seeing a therapist. These programs are called Blues Be Gone, Mood Control, Panic Pit Stop. And they are a new wave of uh, psychological treatment, if you like. I became a, a consultant at the NHS. I studied uh, and became quite expert in the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder. But now I work in private practice and I help people to resolve the problems that I've described. Now, throughout this time uh, of my interest in consciousness, I've realized one important and relatively profound point. It's this, I'm not a person and I'm not alone. Let me explain a bit more. We live in a three-dimensional world and here I've positioned myself next to the edge of this lake and the island beyond so this is obviously three dimensions right we have depth height and width. So we live in a three-dimensional world and we move about it uh, we move about within it quite successfully but how is it that how is it that we do that how are we able to move in a three-dimensional world well we have to in essence create a three-dimensional world inside our heads in a sense we have to create something called a cognitive map but I like to call it a holographic mind we have a mind which constantly creates three-dimensional representations of everything that we experience so the input of our senses helps us to construct a holographic representation of our world. Now, you may have heard the phrase, you don't respond to what's actually happening, you respond to your interpretation of what's happening. And that's absolutely true. So we respond to what our holographic mind tells us is happening, what our holographic mind interprets for us. So you see, our holographic mind creates the illusion of consciousness, and we assume that this illusion of consciousness is reality. So that when people come to see me uh, and they, for instance, say I'm depressed or anxious, those statements don't reflect their actual experience of the world. They reflect their experience of their holographic representation, the holographic representation that they themselves have created. And that's quite fascinating because it's not what happens to you, it's what you do with it that is the determiner of the outcome of something. And so I get an opportunity to work with people now in the very nitty gritty elements of consciousness that shape their experience and give them the outcomes and uh, experiences that they have. 
and that's quite fascinating and it brings a nice circle to my career if you like because now I'm actually spending all of my time thinking about consciousness and helping people to recognize the effects of their holographic uh, representations on their uh, life experience. So I get to meet lots of really nice people and I get to help them uh, to resolve the psychological difficulties and that's a nice way to spend my time.